How's it going everybody? This is Bang Bang Bo and I have a video on one of my new favorite firearms in my collection. Um, this is a Beretta Cheetah uh, 84FS. This has the 13 plus 1 round capacity. There are bullets in the magazine, but oh Jesus Christ, this is new. Oh Jesus. This thing, honestly, not even, see? It's empty, clear, whatever. This thing is insane. I, <laughs> I didn't want to start with this, but this is brand new, and you cannot rack the slide. It is, it is, it is a monster. Monster. You, you really have to fight to pull that fucking thing back. I haven't shot it yet, uh, so I don't have much to say. I just wanted to do a quick preview, get a video out there because I know there's not a whole lot. Um, this is. I'll just, I'll just do run through a quick quick little review of, of what it looks like the the nickel plating this is nickel plating it's shiny but kind of dull it's like a dull chrome looking finish um and videos just do not do it justice but i will say it 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 does look a little on the duller side it's got more dullness than shine but it still is a little shiny and nickel like um in in person so on video it, it's a little doesn't look as nice like i'd say like right about there in the video that's kind of a good representation of what it looks like in person like yeah like this lighting this angle whatever um like when you see videos where it's like that that's it does not look like that i promise you uh, where it's like super reflective um so yeah these are to my knowledge real wood uh walnut grips um, it's got a beefier mag, magwell because, uh, it's a 13 plus one and it, it just fits really nice in the hand. I'm Italian, so I, I kind of figured it would fit in my hand well, uh, cause this is an Italian firearm, Beretta. Okay. Pietro Beretta. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but that's the guy who founded the company, I believe. Um, there you go. Made in Italy. There you go. That looks nice as hell, don't it? Um, I love, actually, one of my favorite things about this is it says, does not fires without magazine. Uh, it's like just this typo. It's fucking hilarious. It's like, you would think before stamping it in on, onto a firearm, you wouldn't have this fucking typo here. What the fuck? <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, and I like another thing that I like about it is... Um, caliber nine short nine millimeter short that's what uh these guys are it's just a shortened down nine millimeter which is pretty cool um when you think about it because you can shoot a 380 out of a nine millimeter but it in most case like a glock at least i don't recommend doing it um it's, you know it's your fault if it explodes in your hand i'm not recommending you do it but it works i've seen it um i haven't done it personally so if you needed if all you had was 380 and you had your glock or whatever you could shoot like one at a time it's just i don't think it's strong enough to cycle but anyway so that's that uh i like the sights a lot they're kind of weird they line up like that um they are fixed i think although it looks like you could get this off if you really tried um another thing to note at the top of the firearm there's that like i don't know you can see where it's like Looks like there's a big chunk of metal missing, like a scrape almost. I've seen that on other firearms, like the same exact model, finish, whatever. I don't know why why that's there, uh, to be honest. And it kind of takes away from it. But I've I checked out other videos and they have that marking there too. I don't know, maybe you guys definitely tell me if you know why that is. Um, I don't even care if it's, you know, my model is defective a little and they there's like this blemish i'd rather just know like is it supposed to be there what i don't know and it's something like i can't describe it so i can't even look it up and be like what's that you know <laughs> like, um all right but yeah um the this is a so once you pull it back pull the slide back this is a decocker and a safety so you can push it up and it drops the hammer um the hammer right there and uh, it's also a safety, so like you can't, so if there was a round in the chamber, 
you wouldn't be able to shoot it because the safety's on. You'd have to pull it down like that. Red means it's ready to go and shoot. But you'll notice there's no magazine. It has a magazine disconnector. This thing is loaded with safeties, which some people don't like, but I don't know, I, I kind of like it because then I could have the around in the chamber, which by the way, this pops out. I mean, I personally, I'm comfortable putting one in the chamber, but I, I won't because I don't encourage other people doing it. Um, this piece right here pops out like at an angle like that a little bit, not drastically, just a little bit. And you see red. I don't know if you can see in the video. There's a little bit of red in there. Uh, you probably can't really tell, unfortunately, but it, it's basically like the same color of the sights. Like that reddish color right there will pop out and that lets you know that there's a round in the chamber. Anyway, you can keep a round in the chamber, keep the safety on, and then, again, there's nothing in the chamber, but depress the magazine like that. So not only is the safety on, but like, so if a kid's, you know, some people don't keep them in safes, whatever. I'm not gonna have that conversation to each their own. But like, if you have little kids or whatever, and you don't lock up your guns or, or fucking keep them in a place where they won't find them. <laughs> um, you can keep the magazine disconnected. You can keep the safety on. And it would be really hard for a kid to kind of figure out, okay, boom, boom, and then boom, you know? Um, or you could really, especially with this fucking gun where it's hard to pull back, you could leave one not in the chamber and just leave it like that. So then you'd have to go boom, boom, rack it, and then shoot. Um, but anyway, that's that. I'll just do a quick close up. This is actually longer than I was expecting. I haven't shot it. I've heard some people say it's snappy, but this is a pretty heavy gun. And for 380, um, I don't have much experience shooting 380, but I would imagine that the recoil is going to be pretty pleasant. Like, I don't know. I'll see, I guess, today, but that's that. Okay. I hope I got all the angles. I'll drop the magazine and show you that it's clear. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, I'm not, maybe I'm a little bitch, but I can't fucking, here, one second. Don't hate. I just pushed, I have a cloth down, I pushed it on the end of the barrel and pushed it back so you guys could see. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So that's that. Beretta Cheetah, uh, model 84 FS, nickel, plated, beauty. Um, so thanks again for watching everybody and I hope you enjoyed it, got a little bit out of it, at least had another, another video to watch and cause these are kind of rare, at least video wise. Um, I found at least when looking for it. So yeah, if you liked it, please do like, uh, leave a comment. Tell me if you know what the fuck that marking is from. Um, and then uh, subscribe for more content like this. It lets me to know to keep making videos and um, have fun, be safe, and don't be a dick to other people who are getting into guns for the first time, please. Okay, thanks.